Hey everybody, welcome back to this Let's Play of Final Fantasy II for the PlayStation. I am Drac. Let's get to it, shall we? Alright, so last time we just barely entered Castle Palamecia because Batman, I mean the Dark Knight, I mean whomever, has taken over for the Emperor. And he is going to lead the Empire now, but we won't stand for that, no siree. It doesn't matter if he's going to lead towards peace or anything like that. We can't have that. That's how weird that story line got, but... Yeah, so right now we are in Castle Palamecia. We are going to take on the Dark Knight and stop his reign of tyranny. Quote, reign of tyranny before it starts. Because he's the bad guy simply because he's called the Dark Knight. See, guys, you didn't realize, but you were supposed to be cheering for the Joker in that movie. And I know a lot of you were, but you were supposed to be. And in the meantime, we are just making our way down. While Gus beats the living crap out of Furion. I don't know what Furion did to deserve that. But he apparently did something wrong. He knows what he did. It's not because, you know, Gus is confused or anything. Of course, I try to take the confusion off because he did kind of pick the wrong heavy hitter to confuse, so... Or I guess he's enticed. He's been charmed by the snake lady. Don't you understand from the last part, Gus? It's a trap! It's a trap! Ow. Ooh. Wow, he barely lived. Okay, it's time to get Gus back up now. Kill the Lamia Queen. Okay, well, it missed. Is this going to be it? Yeah, this will probably do it. Our first order of business, heal Gus. Because he's not having a good time right now. He fell for the trap. Alright, and uh, while we are making our way down to the uh, throne room of Castle Palamecia, um, one of the things that I do try to answer each week for people, because I do get the questions, is um, what am I currently playing and where am I at currently in it? Um, and obviously I just put on an upgrade for Furion, the Sunblade, which will be very helpful. Um, things that I've been playing recently this week. I've played a lot because we're trying to get the Dragon Shadow Summer all set up and uh, we're, we're a good distance into it, but I want to get it done so that my summer doesn't have to be totally about that, obviously, because I'm getting ready to do E3 coverage next week uh, for Geek News Reviews and Opinions. By the way, to people who didn't know, um, the most recent episode of Geek News is up from May 29th, uh, at least up until yesterday. Um, but yeah, the, the most recent episode that we were able to put up on YouTube is May 29th. Um, so that is up, and then also I'm getting ready to start putting up the archive episodes of that. So people might not know this, but Geek News has actually been running for a couple of months now. And uh, I've actually been trying to get an RSS going for iTunes, but I also had no problem putting this stuff on YouTube. It's just that we've added the whole element of putting, uh, actually recording video for it. So I have to correspond with the people who are recording it, and then I can edit it all down. So I apologize if it takes forever to get that up, but we will we'll try and get that up faster. As well as for people who want to see an archive of, of stuff that we've done, that will be coming up very soon. Uh, but yes, on to, on to the stuff that I've been playing. Like I said, I, I've covered a lot of territory for Draken Shadow um, for our agenda for the summer, um, as well as trying to get movies seen and, uh, you know, like X-Men we just barely did, and thankfully we're going to have like a month off because uh, the next thing I think me and Alex are going to take is Transformers. So that that's kind of a reprieve. That and getting, uh, if people haven't noticed, Dragon Shadow just had uh, Simon's Quest start up, so go watch that, because another part's coming up tomorrow. And yeah, I've been trying to get that up. Uh, but stuff that I've been playing specifically that people want to know about, 
Um, as people know from one of the parts last week, I did finish God of War Ascension and gave kind of my verdict on that. Uh, it wasn't nice, but sometimes mean things have to be said in order for companies to improve. So in the place of that, I actually decided to go back back in time a little bit because people had recommended this game to me for years. Uh, the Sucker Punch game Infamous. So I, uh, after God of War Ascension, I took on Infamous, and I'm a good chunk into that game. I want to say I am. I've gotten a few missions done. It's good. I, I like it. It's a it's a really good superhero uh, sandbox game. I have no real major complaints with it thus far. A few things don't make sense, and um, one of the things that actually irritates me with the story is, you know, uh, the story centers around Cole McGrath. And he is, uh, he, he's a delivery boy that I guess his last delivery that he did was a bomb. And it's what destroyed the city that he lives in, Empire City. And this actually caused a lot of casualties, including his girlfriend's sister. And, uh, up until the, up until the beginning of the story, we didn't know who had dropped the bomb. Then we found out in that, um in the game that it actually was Cole McGrath. Uh, the delivery was a bomb. And so now the girlfriend is holding him responsible for that, even though he didn't know it was a bomb. Um, I'm not going to go into the aesthetics of you didn't know it was a bomb, it wasn't ticking or it wasn't humming or anything like that, but uh, I also think the girlfriend's being kind of dickish. Because it wasn't his fault. He was doing his job. So at that point, you're going to fault him for doing his job? Alright, well, I guess he should have just, you know, sat on his butt and been lazy all day. And that, that irritates me a little bit, but the gameplay is really where this game shines for me. Uh, just because I'm able to be a superhuman in a sandbox game, so I can choose... Th that and I like the choice thing. You can be a hero or you can be a villain. So you can choose to be a good guy, or you could choose to be a dick and just piss people off, or kill people. Um, so, obviously, if people haven't figured this out, I went the good route. I don't go for the bad guy, you know, like when I played Mass Effect, I went all Paragon. Um, I've never gone back and done Renegade. I'm not interested in that. I want to be a, a good guy. And the same thing is true for Cole. And I've gotten a few missions done, and I'm liking it so far. Uh, the story is rather interesting in the fact that now where I'm at, we're kind of researching why Empire City, why did it have to be coal? Um, and then obviously he got uh, electric-based powers after it. Why did it have to be coal that got these powers? Um, and not a whole lot has been answered yet, but I'm liking it thus far. Uh, the, the few missions that I have done have had really unique choices. Uh, where you can choose either a good action or a bad action and be rewarded accordingly. I also like the fact that you get additional rewards based on kind of the Paragon Renegade actions that you do. So you can choose to literally, like, leech electrical energy from your enemies, and that's considered a bad action. Or you can use electricity to bind them down and then heal all the people around them that they hurt, and you get good actions for it. That's really cool to me. So I, that motivates me to want to help people instead of just, okay, I killed you, everybody save, move on. It makes me go, okay, well, even though it's worth one XP to do it, I'm going to restrain this guy, and I'm going to go heal the other people around him. So that's a really good idea. I applaud Sucker Punch for that, but, you know, I'm still very early into the game, I think, so I'm going to reserve overall judgment on it until I'm a little deeper, because right now, the gameplay is not where I have the issue. The story kind of is, because the story hasn't hooked me yet. And I'm, I'm waiting to see if this story actually does hook me uh, into Infamous 2 and eventually the PS4 game, Second Son. I did also find it interesting in Infamous that I guess the the bomb was part of uh, what's called the First Sun Project, so I went, oh, Second Sun, I get it now. Okay. All right, that makes sense. But yeah, so I, I played Infamous. I'm liking it thus far. 
I finally, to the Batman fans, I finally finished Arkham City. Now, let me clarify by finished. Um, I actually read deeper into some of the side missions, and they weren't enough motivation for me to go actually do them. But I finished the main storyline, and then I also went into the DLC, uh, Harley Quinn's Revenge, and finished that. And I gotta say, that's a good game right there. Um, I liked Arkham Asylum. I like Arkham City that much more because it is open world and sandbox. And it does it right. Um, not only that do you get to play Batman, but you also get to play as Catwoman. And you get to have her kind of actions towards him. And those were always fun episodes, especially regarding stealth. Because uh, I'll admit... Catwoman was a little overpowered when it came to stealth compared to Batman. At least for me, because I could jump up on the ceiling whenever. Um, and then it also gives you the additional options of... I, I think you can actually play as Nightwing in the game, but I, I didn't get to try that. But I got to play as Tim Drake or Robin. And that was pretty cool too. Especially since he kind of prefers a weapon kind of combat. And they accommodated for that, and all of his weapons reflected that. So, where Batman didn't get, like, a, a staff or anything like that, he had all those little gadgets from the first game, at least most of them. Um, instead, they decided to give Robin, like, a bullet shield so with a staff. That was really cool. Um, and then, obviously, the story was really good. Uh, but we're actually getting... Um, I'm not going to go too much into it, because we're getting really close to the end here. Um... Or to the Dark Knight. Happily enough, we're talking about the Dark Knight. And so... I'm, I'm debating... Yeah, the game's been out for a while, so... I will go into spoilers. Um, I love the fact that it was Ra Rachel Ghoul behind Hugo Strange. That was awesome. Um, I love the fact that the Joker... Um, his kind of... He meets his end in this game, and... That's a really profound scene to me, especially when you have Batman literally walking out of Arkham City carrying the dead body of the Joker. But I will admit, the, the most profound scene in that whole ending segment was Harley Quinn is like one of the first people to see him walk out. And you can see she's, she's grief-stricken uh, grief at that point. And that really kind of leads into the DLC. It's really good. Um... I'm going to hold off on that for a little bit until we get this whole thing done, but... Yeah, I, I, I like the game. I'll go in a little bit more in-depth when we get this done. Right now, I am just healing up for the fight to come. I knew you'd come, Therian. Oh, so Leon knows who he is. You think you can defeat me? Well, yeah. We've been doing that for a while now. Palamecia has not really been a threat. No! Please stop this! Why do you have to cross your sword against your friend? Let me ask you one thing. What conquers the world? Lots of things? The answer is power. Oh, that's one. I am the Emperor now, and I will not let go of it. Yeah, uh-huh. Now move out of my way! And where's Rachel? Yes, I know I do that a lot. Uh, but things went quiet. Hmm, that's a grand entrance. Hi! Who are you? Leon. I'm surprised to see you on my throne. Uh-oh. I have returned from hell with the ultimate power to conquer the world. So this is the emperor that we recently killed. You, the emperor? <laughs> you do not know that you only deserve to work in the shadows of the real emperor. Okay, so you're a ghost. What can a ghost do now? The empire is mine. Yeah, bad move, dude. Especially when he does stuff like that. You pathetic fool. I'm not interested in this empire anymore. Or in the empire. I shall kill all living souls and destroy this world! 
You will be joined by the others soon. All right. Well, you went crazy when you died. Gotcha. We must flee this place now. Take my wind, Drake. It's time for Gareth to. Uh... Gareth, what are you doing? It's time for my bath moment. Moment. Come, I will take you to where you belong. All right, so it looks like Gareth is going to provide a distraction. You worthless fool! Uh... Gareth! Um, yeah, this doesn't sound like it's going to work out very well, Gareth. You going to be all right, dude? You going to be all right? <laughs> no. Yes, as people might have guessed, Gareth be kind of becomes the third casualty. But holy crap! This is kind of overkill, dude. You destroyed him and your palace. That was a bit much. Ah, but what he destroys, he recreates. And it's all crystal. That's actually, that was a really cool cutscene when I first saw it. I was just like, wow. He took his, he blew, he uh, decided his cra castle wasn't crystal enough and made it all crystal. And that is because it's not Palamecia anymore and we'll get into that in a second. But obviously this changes the game a little bit um, and sets things up into end game. So obviously the only thing we can do is return to Finn. Therian, what happened? You, the Dark Knight. But you don't have a mask anymore. You're Bruce Wayne? Tell me, what happened? Well, he's Bruce Wayne. We already said that. The Emperor, he has returned. And the Dragoon, he sacrificed himself to save us. Joseph, Mindu, Sid, and now Gareth. They're all dead. I can't take this anymore! But if we stop here, the Emperor will bring more death. Leon, let's fight together. Princess Hilda, please allow him to join us. Well, she's had no problem with other ones. I will leave the decision up to you. Obviously. Leon, we'll go together. And I skipped a whole bunch of text and I don't know what it said, but okay. My bad. Okay, Maria. Uh, people can remember Maria and Leon are actually brother and sister, so... Alright, so this sets up Endgame. Um, so now, as people might have guessed, Leon is kind of our last character. Um, I think I said that at the beginning. The resurrected emperor brought pandemonium from the underworld. The world is coming to an end. So this is basically what has happened. The emperor has brought hell on earth. And, uh, you have to stop him. Long ago, demonic creatures flooded the world in what is now known as the Tide of Doom. Alright, so hell invaded, basically. It is said they entered through a place called the Jade Passage. Ah, looks like we got a new word to memorize. So ask about the Jade Passage. There is an area of Mycidia known by that name. All right, so that kind of gives us the next destination we need to go to. We're going to talk to Layla as well. That emperor sold his soul to the demons. That's just what he did. You know that narrow channel on the east of Mycidia? That's where the Jade Sea is. Almost to tell you that's where the Jade Passage is. Basically, our goal now is that we have to go through this Jade Passage um, into Pandemonium. Cassian Folklore told of a small lake in Mycidia. It was said to be the portal to hell. And as you might have guessed, Pandemonium is hell. The Emperor has now become empowered by Pandemonium, and he wishes to bring Pandemonium to this world. His empire is no longer what matters. He's going to destroy all living souls to fuel him. So 
Now our goal is we have to go through the Jade Passage into Pandemonium to take on the Emperor. So, yeah, that like that's going to be totally easy, right? I mean, seriously, what part of that is hard? But yes, this is Endgame, so welcome to it, guys. Uh, we are actually, we did some grinding off of camera, so we're actually really, we're ready to go. Um, and we are not going to make a stop into Mysidia because there isn't really much information you can get there. Plus, I know where to go. If there was actual dialogue that we could have gotten from it, then great, but not really. Um, Mysidia doesn't really tell you what to do there. And now I just need to remember where uh, the Jade Passage is. Oh, actually, before we go... That, that actually reminds me. Before we went to uh, Pandemonium, we did one quick errand. Um, with Gareth dead, we actually need to go report the news. Um, and I think I confirmed this. The, the mother and the son are Gareth's wife and son. So we gotta go, unfortunately, tell them the bad news. Gareth is dead, but he promised me he'd return. Still, he was a dragoon. He must have been proud to die for his comrades. I actually like they, they give her the animation that she's got her face in her hands. Um, so at this point, I don't think there really is much that we can do. Um, I think we can ask her maybe one thing, but I'm, I can't remember off the top of my head. But we are going to get a reward for this. Ah, there we go, dragons. We will be leaving Diced. This is our home, but it's too full of painful memories. Oh, we can understand that. Oh. Oh, I mean to give you this. Only the greatest dragoons could wield it. It's yours now. All right. So this is Gareth's blade, basically, and it is Excalibur. So the second strongest blade in the game just barely got handed to us. And if people think I'm going to hand it to Furion, you are wrong. We're going to hand it over to Leon because he's actually really proficient with swords, uh, as well as axes and I think uh, lances and maces. So we're really good with that. And this is actually the point where I do get some grinding done off camera. Uh, now that I have... Excalibur, and I can start working on Leon stats, and they are really weak at this point. He is way... If people have noticed in the menu screen, he is way below Fury and Maria and Gus, and we need him to be higher than this. Because Pandemonium is not fun at all. It's one of the... To me, guys, it is one of the longest dungeons that has ever been done in a Final Fantasy game. It's one of the longest. And that's saying a lot. Considering that some of the other culprits that I would say were just the same problem um, were in 3D iterations. And so we gotta make sure that we are prepared for it because like with the last one, um, it is kind of an endurance match. This is, keep in mind guys, this is before save points. Um, those weren't done until the 16-bit era. So... We are not going to be able to save in there. At least to my knowledge, I don't remember there being a save point. So, that's kind of frustrating. But while I get the, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the grinding done off camera, and when we come back, we will make our trip into Pandemonium. Once again, I am trapped.